Hey, what's shake and bacon? Carrie Hyam here, and I am super pumped to be going live today. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about my favorite messenger recruiting hack that you can start implementing right away to get into more conversations for your business. So if we're meeting for the first time, my name's Carrie Hyam, and I'm a Beach Boss influencer. And here at Beach Boss, we teach network marketers like you how to make more in less time, leveraging systems and processes and social media and automation. Who doesn't love some automation, right? So I absolutely love this hack that I'm going to be talking about today. And when I started using this hack, um, I started using this hack probably a good two years ago or so. It was right when this thing became brand new with Facebook. Um, I started using it right away because I saw the power of it. And this thing, this hack, this secret, this tip, whatever you want to call it, is using Facebook stories to get into conversation. So what I absolutely love about Facebook stories, um, two things. The first thing is that when somebody else posts a story, it is so easy to go into message to, to send them a message, right? You send them a message. I mean, your friend Jen could be talk, you know, talking about her something, her daughter's swim competition, right? You go in and you just start the conversation. Say, you know, congratulations, Sarah, for winning third place in the swim meet, right? Like that's so awesome. How are you doing? I haven't talked to you in a while. I love using stories to connect with other people. Now, I keep in mind, if we're using influence marketing and we're not all about just pushing product and selling, that's not what this is about. It's about building friendships, right? Building friendships with people that you're already connected with on Facebook. And when you build that relationship, who knows where the conversation is going to lead down the road. A lot of times what I've found happens is that as I'm messaging people from their stories, I'm building a little bit of the relationship. And then all of a sudden they're going and they're commenting on my posts. They're commenting on my stories. All it does is start building that relationship. And then the cool thing is, is as your content does the selling for you, you're then able to get into messenger conversations as well, because you've already started that conversation. It's much easier to message someone about something that they've posted about than to try to think of what you're going to message someone out of the blue, right? It's not authentic. It's not genuine. We want to be authentic. We want to be genuine. We want to have real connections and real conversations with people because they are human beings with pains and problems and dreams and fears and desires and all the, all the shebang, right? So we want to be keeping that in mind before we ever approach someone to sell something or to buy something from us or before we ever try to sell our product to someone. We want to make sure that it's something that's really going to help them. Okay. So I love, that's the first thing that I love about Facebook stories. I also love to use Facebook stories to post as part of my content strategy, right? And so I'm posting things that I promote in my stories. The great things about stories is that if people are there watching your stories, they are choosing to be there. It's not it's not like a news feed where in the news feed things kind of, you know, people swipe, right? If someone's watching a story, they have the chance to click through. If they are on your story, chances are they've watched your stories before. Facebook and their algorithm with stories if you are engaging with someone, they're going to put that person's content in front of you. And that is true in stories as well. So if they, so if you have been engaging with them and then you have stories that pop up, maybe it's about, you know, uh, something that you're using uh, for your, one of your products. Maybe it's about, you know, joining in your business thing. Those people are then going to see it. And because they're seeing your stories, if they're messaging you and you're able to use, you know, polls, you're able to ask questions, if you're using those things in stories to create the engagement, if someone's getting, wanting more information about your product or about whatever it is that you're promoting in stories, it's already in Messenger. And so because it's already in Messenger, it makes it easy to have that back and forth conversation whether it's leading them to your Facebook group, maybe you're leading them to a Zoom call, whatever that, whatever that may be. If you are able to leverage this hack of using Facebook stories to build relationships, connect, grow influence, and then promote, 
those Facebook, that it's my favorite hack of all time to get into more conversations with potential uh, clients, prospects, students, whatever uh, you know you want to call them. So hopefully you found value in this. If you did, let me know in the comments. Click the link. Um, it's gonna, there's going to be a link either in the description or down below. If you want more information on how, on our specifically, how you can use Messenger to grow your business, there's going to be a link that's attached to this video. Go ahead and click that. Head on over. Get more of that information um, because we've got a full blown. Uh, shebang that can help you when it comes to mastering uh, using Messenger to have those conversations. So hopefully you got some value. Um, I'm going to wrap it up and we'll see you soon.